Here is another story that is all new for you tonight at 11 at WUSA 9. We're committed to covering environmental stories and how they impact our community. Yeah, we have brand new reporting tonight on a story we first told you about Tuesday that you might remember the environmental issue our neighbors have been struggling with in DC's Ivy City community. The tight knit neighborhood is surrounded by a rail yard, industrial buildings and a chemical manufacturing plant. Meteorologist Caitlin McGrath joins us with an important update on the future of this Northeast neighborhood. So what did you learn, Caitlin? Well, Leslie and Lorenzo neighbors gathered tonight at Trinity Baptist Church in Ivy City for a community information session with the Environmental Protection Agency and Department of Energy and Environment addressing ongoing pollution concerns largely tied to that chemical manufacturing plant that sits right on the corner of their small neighborhood. And residents did not mince their words. They want national engineering products gone. If y'all don't know who we should be able to go to, that get us, get them shut down. They've been poisoning our community for 90 plus years. NEP, they claim that they closed the vent. That's less than three feet away from my child's window. The Environmental Protection Agency met with Ivy City residents to give their most recent update on the air sampling testing they've been conducting for the past two years. Even if we find that something isn't an acute threat to public health, that doesn't mean that it's not a nuisance and not a problem and can affect the quality of life. The D.C. Department of Energy and Environment also took to the mic and presented new information to residents about an odor reduction plan submitted by National Engineering Products. The reason we are working with NEP is to try to get the odor reductions and emissions reductions as quickly as possible, right? And the quickest way for us to do that is in collaboration with the facility. And while the majority of the meeting was spent talking about NEP, they were noticeably absent from the conversations. The EPA told me they were invited to participate, but chose to listen to the meeting virtually and anonymously. Residents told me they were frustrated and left with more questions than answers. We want NEP gone because it's not fair. I have a house. I sit on the porch which I would love to enjoy, but I can't because of the smell. WUSA 9 was first to report DC Council Member Zachary Parker put forward new legislation today to give Mayor Bowser the authority to remove the chemical factory through eminent domain. We do think it's a positive longer term land use change solution, um, and I would like to say that we, we really need to see more leadership from Mayor Bowser as well on environmental justice and, and tackling this issue of the over concentration of pollution sources in these communities in Ward 5. The executive director of Empower DC, which is a community organization with a goal of enhancing, improving and promoting self advocacy of residents, told me they are grateful to Zachary Parker for the legislation, but it's not an immediate solution and they are still urging city officials to act quickly to help protect residents. All right, Caitlin, so if this bill does pass and that factory is moved, what else can go in that space? Well, it would become a climate resilience hub. Councilman Parker says Ivy City bears a large brunt of industrial pollution and the effects of climate are only exacerbating threats these residents are facing. And by creating this hub, the hope is to accelerate plans for climate adaptation and create more green jobs. Okay, we know you'll continue to follow it. Absolutely.